Good morning everyone and welcome to this week's collective worship. Peace be with you. Well, over the last few weeks we've been talking about perseverance and thank you for persevering with me over these six weeks. I'm going to talk about perseverance again this morning, but some of you will know that I have a fondness for sheep. I really like sheep and if you'll have looked around my study over the last few weeks in the background, you would have seen sheep in all sorts of ways, in pictures, um, soft toys, even on the cushions that are on the chair behind me. And of course, I've got this one here this morning, which is probably the biggest of the, of the sheep I've got. I like sheep and I can actually watch a field of sheep all day long. And I've actually got friends that have sheep of their own. In fact, one of my friends up in Yorkshire has a large flock of sheep. But you know, Jesus often talked about sheep in the Bible. And he often used sheep as a way of um, explaining things. And he often referred to us as sheep as well, which is probably true because sheep can be quite naughty sometimes and so can all of we, can't we? And he often talked about himself as a good shepherd. And sometimes when Jesus told stories, he used what we call parables. He told a story about one thing to help people understand something else. And one of those stories was the story of the lost sheep. There was a shepherd and he had lots and lots of sheep. And he knew all his sheep by name, by colour and by looking at them. He could just spot them the other side of the field and he knew that that might be brown eyes or wagtail or black nose or whatever. And every day he took his sheep into the pastures so they could find nice fresh grass to nibble. You'd like some fresh grass to nibble, wouldn't you? And they, um, he sat with them in the fields all day long, looking after them, checking that they were safe from wolves and, and other things, making sure they didn't go off into the hedge and get caught in the brambles and all this kind of thing. And at the end of the day, he would lead his sheep back into the, um, the sheep pen at night. Now, he knew that he had exactly 100 sheep because during the day he would sit there and he would count them. One, two, three, four, five. And unlike us, when we count sheep, he didn't fall asleep. But he did know if any of them weren't there. One day, he, at the end of the day, he walked with his sheep back down to the sheepfold and he started to count them in. One, two, three, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, doing well so far, eighty, ninety, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, 96, 97, 98, 99, 99. But there was one missing. He couldn't find one sheep. There was only 99. Where was the one sheep? Now, he could have just given up at this point and thought, well, I've got 99 of them. The other one will find its way home when it feels like it. But he didn't. Instead, he would put the 99 pet sheep in the pen, closed off the gate, and he went in search of the one sheep that had gone missing. And he searched and he searched and he searched until he found that one sheep. And when he did eventually find the sheep, he picked him up and he put him over his shoulders and he carried him home. And you'll often see pictures of a shepherd carrying home his sheep. Now, he could have given up. He could have thought, I'm not going to, but he didn't. He persevered until he found that one sheep. Because to him, every sheep was important. But from what it looked like, whether it was small, whether it was big, whether it was um, old, whether it was young, whatever the sheep was like, 
every single sheep was important and his job wasn't done until every sheep was back in the fold. He persevered until he got all his sheep back. And that's the kind of shepherd you want. One that's going to look after all his sheep. And Jesus used that story to tell us that that's just how God's like. God will always looks after us. If one person wanders off and goes astray, God will always be there waiting for them to come back. He'll always be looking out for us, no matter where we are or what we're doing. When we think we're lost, he's there. He perseveres with each and every one of us. And that's good news for each of us. Well, I mentioned my friend that was a shepherd up in Yorkshire. And she has a, a really huge flock of sheep. And this winter time, earlier on in January, they had a lot of snow. And she had some of her sheep go missing. In fact, 20 of her flock she couldn't find. And they were out day and night searching for the flock. And they found four of them and brought them back into the farm yard and then had to go out looking for the others. And they eventually found the other 16 sheltered up against the hedge, in fact, up against a stone wall, shaking and shivering, and they brought them back home. Because she cares for her animals, just as God cares for us. And whatever happened, she would have never left them out on their own. She would have always persevered and always gone out there to look for them. So let's take some time to pray and some time to be quiet. Dear God, thank you that you will always look after us, that you will always look out for us, that you will always persevere. Help us to show that perseverance in looking after other people. Help us not to give up on people and not to give up on things. But help people to know that whatever they are, if we perhaps have moved away from them in whatever way, we're still looking after them and we'll always go on persevering in our friendships. Amen. Well, I hope you all have a really lovely half term and I look forward to being with you again next half term. I quite, don't quite know what the subject is then, but we will of course be moving towards Easter and we'll have the hope of, of the Easter story to come as well as knowing that we have persevered through all the struggles and difficulties that we might have had over these winter months. And while we haven't all been in school, but have been in different places together. Mums and dads, don't forget it is half term next week. You can have a week off homeschooling. This time you get half term as well as your children. So take care, have a good holiday, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.